No, it's not working. Um, all right, what happens okay. if you stop sharing the screen? Okay, so I, I will try oh, to... Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yes. yeah, do it that way, okay. So, okay. Let's get water to drop, okay. Okay, okay. All right, now, let's go, start. Go so, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, sorry, so, troubles. <laughs> I, I'm Shinji Enoki, and from Japan. Uh, this talk uh, is how to use online office suite and data storage to protect your privacy. And so, uh, this talk has three topics. Uh, firstly, summarize data privacy risk and needs, and second, uh, solutions in the area of file sharing and editing, uh, LibreOffice and Cobra Online and Nextcloud. Uh, and thirdly, so how to build Nextcloud and Cobra Online. And I'm mainly active in LibreOffice. Uh, and Japanese team and so membership committee uh, of TDF. And so other committee is, uh, for example, so Japan Unix Society and more. Okay. And living in Nishinomiya uh, City, Japan in the so, Kansai area, uh, Osaka and Kobe in the middle. Okay, and so first topic. So data and privacy risk. So we are so increasing using so, cloud service so many, many cloud services. And so uh, it's a very so convenient and so many, many benefits. However, it uh, became difficult to manage our data. So there is a need to so identify to assess uh, risks. And Growing risks and needs, and um, some case is a risk of con loss of control. So, uh, reason is uh, from the so service providers, and uh, not only big tech. And so, other case is a uh, government size site, uh, and so user privacy needs and compliance. Uh, so privacy culture and so laws uh, different from country to country, so making it difficult to the response. And so these are so uh, moving, such or changing, so must be agile. And so illegal, of course, illegal attack. But so, this talk is so uh, out of scope. <laughs> and so, risk of risk control. And so, they control your so, uh, availability and usability or so functionality or so it's a trade-off. So en engineering so cost or so time with control. So uh, some mostly so you need to the best combination. So private cloud and public cloud or so on premise. So uh, now. Uh, we are open source people, 
and we want to use open source. Also, it brings a great benefit to non-open source lovers as well. The first uh, benefit, uh, easy to control, uh, transparent. Also, this case is a so transparent and so active community is key. Uh, so not common. Transparent case is uh, uh, control is not easy. <laughs> and second case is uh, easy to uh, buy to, uh, products uh, because so the same as a uh, production environment is immediately so available and uh, may not be a trade off. So good open source solution uh, with uh, greatly so reduce the cost of self-hosting and simple or uh, much your needs or so popular in uh, important okay so and additional information so sometimes so people talk the digital sovereignty so this is so difficult so the word. And the term digital sovereignty is used mainly in Europe. So I have come to here in Japan as well, but not yet common. So my understanding is that there is a mixing uh, so industrial so policy towards big tech. And so, for example, so Google or Facebook or... And so, uh, protecting citizens' policy, uh, privacy. And so, democracy controlling privacy. So, concept is mixing. And so, uh, this is probably a new concept. But it was so uh, redefined as a new term because of the important this is a theme. Okay, and second topics. So, and liberals or collaborator uh, online or next crowd world. So, online file sharing or uh, editing uh, area. So, uh, collaboration work is uh, progress as all of, over the world because now so COVID situation. And so, your life based online file sharing is becoming more, than, more, uh, more and more important. And collaborate, collaborate editing is also important. Now, so next cloud plus web online is uh, mostly typical open source combination is this area. And next cloud is very famous and so simple and so powerful file sharing and file storage. And web online is a so collaborative entity on the web and this is so liberal office based online office suite and next cloud is a so many many so function so file management web based file management and sharing but not only so web uh, browser uh, you can use uh, so web app and folder based sharing so also possible and so single sign on and so file access control or sync with mobile and apps and uh, PC client and so many many various uh, apps 
and calendar, email client, task management, chart or video conference, uh, including from the uh, beginning. So file sharing, so case is also very easy to control. Uh, some cases also allow editing, check or a file download, password protect, so you can check in and you can allow. And problem online, so starting very easy. So you can click the so file name area. And so start it. So this case is many, many cases. But so uh, from large enterprise to home or uh, and individual users, in Japan, uh, use case, I hear the so, university case uh, used by so, 35,000 people, uh, the big, biggest uh, use case. And personal use is uh, many people using the uh, personality. Um, for example, so, uh, Japanese or Linux users group people. <laughs> and my case, think email file and Android pictures, not only document file. This is a so university, so sorry, this is a so Japanese and so from the Yana san. So the presentation. And so other case is uh, my I'm um, active in the so Japan Unix Society. Um, uh, it's a so Unix community, yeah, Unix user group, and um, for very long time so active the society. And this case is edit the uh, Britain using Collabora Online. Uh, one ODF file was edited almost the uh, same time by four people uh, for about so maybe two hours, so very hard. <laughs> so some of the function did not work well, but so uh, the work went very well. Very, very easy to use. Yeah. This this file is also and so some people is also copy and paste and the so from the email and so editing the changing real time. So editing it's very hard. <laughs> But so almost okay. <laughs> and so desktop and online. Okay. So reverse on PC and so Crab Online have the same rendering result. So firstly I created and the template file in libreface and also sh synchronize using Nextcloud. So, very easy to synchronize. And, and so one point, so be careful. Uh, don't so edit code online when uh, client syncs. So, Collaborate Online will uh, detect it and reload the file. Okay. Third topic. So, how to build the next cloud and global Online. So, uh, it's a time is very short. It's also. Please checking the website. 
that's all very easy to uh, install to the next cloud. So some options, so Snap or Docker or virtual machine or archive file. Maybe I recommend that so Snap or Docker is very easy. I mainly use the uh, so Snap. Okay. But so Snap is not uh, flexible. Yeah. If you want to the scale, uh, you can use uh, so another so solution, uh, another so in install option. And Collabora Online install. So include in next cloud hub. However, it's uh, app image. So difficult to add fonts. So Japanese fonts or Asian fonts. Not including. I I not recommend for the Asian people. Uh, I recommend so that so binary so from the so Collabora repository. So the package or RPM package. <laughs> and you can check the so uh, Collabora site. And this case is uh, Debian package case, and import uh, import key, and so repository adding the repository, and so up to install and configuration. So uh, it's uh, so some cases is difficult is uh, so SSL or uh, so. Settings. So, and the reverse proxy setting. You can also check the so website and collaborate website. And so, sometimes so confused that so next cloud app store has two apps. And next cloud office is a plugin for the collaborator. Uh, you need to uh, install this plugin. And the core plugin build, in, build code uh, server. This is a uh, so app image version. And the code is a core online development, uh, development edition. Okay. So. And so finally, so installed and so set up to the uh, on the next cloud, so administrator and click the office. Uh, and so you can check the so built in server or uh, your own server and the URL. It's finished. So, server location is uh, so next cloud and Collabora Online can be separate servers. Uh, Collabora Online can be so scaled with the uh, HA proxy. So, and easy to uh, combine private cloud and public cloud or uh, on premise. Mm. So, for example, so use Collabora Online and HPC to scale in the public cloud. So, uh, is this combination is best? Mm, I don't know. So, this is also very common tool and may not be as uh, effect as that uh, detect and uh, detect tools. Yeah. So, and so Microsoft Office file can be read and written, but not perfectly uh, on the same level as LibreOffice. And on the other hand, so compatibility with LibreOffice is basically perfect. 
if the same fonts are installed. Okay, and conclude. And privacy risk and needs are increasing now. Assisting uh, with with a uh, uh, with data, uh, data or systems uh, should be controls is important. And so you can create a collaborative work environment using DexQuad and Collabora Online. And so you can support innovation uh, by provide, uh, providing collaborate environment while uh, Consigning, um, sorry, <laughs> considering the, the trade-off so between control and cost. Okay, and so related talks uh, at first lecture. So it our opinion is talks are already done and reverse technology, and so today's talk is uh, so Michael Mix. He is a so collaborative productivity. So and so tomorrow is a uh, Frank Kalicek and next Clark CEO. You can check. Okay, and uh, finish. <laughs>